Hello everyone, this video is going to focus on the specific characteristics that you need to know about a turtle shell in order to draw it realistically. Let's begin. So, unlike scales of snakes and lizards, scutes are th uh, thicker plates that grow on turtles from their hard shells. And as you can see over here, the scales on, an, on a snake are very, very well arranged and very organized. And and the turtle shell has variations of the skew plates on its shell. It's not as as well arranged, even though it always follows a specific pattern, which I will be talking about later. Um, the turtle shell and the anatomy of the turtle is actually very important because you can see over here that it. It, the spine is attached to the to the shell, and it also acts as a rib cage on the turtle. Um, you know, it covers all its internal organs. It's kind of like our rib cage, and it provides the structure of the turtle's uh, body. You know, um, I'm sure everyone's seen before cartoons or movies where turtles randomly just take their shells off and you know in reality that doesn't happen because the turtle would just die and yeah so next time you see that know that it, the turtle would be dead if it took its shell off okay so let's talk about both sides of the turtle shell the top part of the turtle shell is called the carapace and it's divided into three different sections uh, we have the vertebral scutes, one, two, three, four, five vertebral scutes. It always has five. And these scutes um, are on top of, of the vertebrae of the turtle. And then we have the coastal scutes, which we have four, one, two, three, four, on both sides of the vertebral scutes. And on the edges of the carapace, we have the marginal scutes. All these little ones on the edge are the marginal scutes and there are usually 24 of them on every turtle. Um, the, the bottom side of the turtle shell is called the plastron and it has pairs of different scutes. We begin with the gular scutes at the head of the turtle. And then we fall with the humeral scutes, pictorial scutes, abdominal scutes, femoral scutes, and anal scutes at the tail of the turtle. And then over here, you see the you can see the bridge of the plastron that connects to the carapace. And this is what I was talking about earlier um, about the the turtle not being able to take its shell off because it's connected to both sides, and this side is connected to its skin too so it's impossible to take it off and over here you have like a you have a clearer view of the bridge between the carapace and the plastron um, you may or may not have noticed before but on each section of the turtle's shell we have different layers of scutes because the way they grow is right underneath each other as you can see on this young turtle that has very little layers as uh, apparently has like one, two, maybe three or four layers of scutes so it's very young um, the older the turtle is the more layers it will have on its sections of scutes as you can see over here this is a very old turtle and you know the, the bigger scutes are at the bottom of the sections. These are the newer scutes, these are the older scutes. So, so if you're gonna draw a turtle shell, it's it's probably gonna be in either a dry environment or a wet environment. And what you need to know about the, the turtle shell is that it's not very reflective when it's dry. You won't see any highlights any strong highlights and sharp highlights on a dry turtle shell. It's kind of kind of a matte surface. 
and on a moist shell, you will see a lot of highlights, a lot of sharp highlights, and some reflections. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And now that you have this knowledge on turtle shells, go out and draw some. And this guy right here is pretty ready for you. So, good luck.